sure. We're going to get into it, though, man. Checking back in live from Detroit. Got a little pee in front of the camera. You know, it's been a, um, a minute since the last time we chopped it up, man. You How still, you know, you dropping, um, you dropping projects every year. You ain't really fell off when it comes to the content. You know, you still one of the dopest lyrically, in my opinion. Um, sure. Still like a diamond in the rough almost too, though, man. But um, right, sure. what's going on with you, man, since the last time we, we you know, connected? Oh, uh, shit. Pretty much same shit, still grinding. Trying to get this motherfucking music out, still grinding, you know what I'm saying? I ain't been on too much of nothing, just in the studio working on new shit. I just dropped. Probably last time I seen you, I probably did like four projects or three projects. And I've been like running with the Bring the Act Back. So I did volume one and the volume two of that. And I'm working on some new shit now. I'm about to drop called Uncle Elroy. You feel me? This is going to be like my album that I'm about to drop. You feel me? So this bitch going to be kind of different. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing different kind of beats on this one and shit. So I'm excited about that. To show that I could do other shit too. Might be singing on that bitch. You never know. A little harmonizing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, get your future on, you know what I mean? Yeah, Everybody, yeah, it's a lot of artists doing smirky, that though. Yo, Mixing the two, yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, damn, they're like, um, I feel like as an artist, I gotta figure that part out now. You know what I'm saying? Just to elevate myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't nothing like I can't do, so it's like, that shit, I'm gonna get at that too, man. Cause that's what's popping. I'm not saying like I'm gonna be on that, but just to prove that I can do that too. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do all of it. Cause this shit like a sport to me. I'm gonna break that down. What you mean when you say that, bro? Like the competitive like part? Sport. <clears throat> yeah, that part and it's like it's like different aspects of the game with this shit like. So it's like a nigga might be good at shooting threes and you know what I'm saying? And just be good at shooting threes. And then when he masters shooting threes, then now he want to learn how to drive and finger roll. You feel me? So it's like, all right, with the rapping shit, it's different ways and different styles. So it's like, nigga don't want to be caught up in the old wave and the old style and just be one dimensional still when as niggas be versatile. You feel me? So, I mean, saying that, bro, I definitely want to ask you about some of the sounds you experiment with. I don't know if you're going to tap in to collaborate with some different type of artists, too. But, like, your latest project, <clears throat> I don't want to just time stamp it like that and date the, the interview. But, I mean, it's 2024, bro. Like, bring the act back, too. First and foremost, man, like you said, this is the second, second installment of the series. I don't know if you're going to keep it going after this. You mentioned Uncle Elroy, but uh, yeah. the Bring the Act Back series, man. So with this one, I noticed that it said presented through like the Hip Hop Lab. Mm -hmm. um, your previous projects, I saw one project say like Boys ENT, but for the most part, they say just like Lil P, like right. you're doing it on your own thing. I don't even see like the Bang Boys or nothing, unless I'm no, missing sure. it. But um. But how, how, did, how did that come about? Like you actually linking up with the hip hop lab, Lando and all of them and man, putting this project together? Really, I was um, I was already working on the project. I was already gonna drop the project. And then um, I was just going to um, Bro Studio um, with, with Prince and shit. I was just meeting up with Prince at the studio working. And I started doing songs with, with trying and shit. We did a couple tracks, you know what I'm saying? We were just vibing out like that. And, um, I don't know, bro. The conversation just came about about a tape with me and Lando and shit. And I'm like, shit, let's, you know, we can do it. You know what I'm saying? We put the little numbers together, or whatever, and we did it. You feel me? It was just like an experience. You know what I'm saying? Something to do. You feel me? But that's that's really what it was. A little one album thing, for real. And my other uh, my other albums, the one you say say Boys and T, that was me that put that right there too. All my shit really is under my name. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, you could write. Like, if I wanted to put Trap House Records at the bottom of that bitch, I could put it. You feel me? Ah, uh, okay. I mean, yeah, I, don't, I was just experimenting with different shit, and I just put Boys NC right there. Did you notice a difference when you did that? Yeah. Mm hmm. So, why not continue to do it? Because <clears throat> all the other artists that signed, they should say LLC. <laughs> so. I'm independent. 
I ain't gotta try to psych nobody out like I ain't. And I don't want nobody to look at it like that's what I'm trying to do. So that's why I didn't do it. You feel me? So, uh, you know, I think, if I'm not mistaken, out of all the like entire Team Me side, PZ is who you linked up with first. I can't even really say like link up because that's my brother. Developed like a, a friendship. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, I don't put. I don't want to misquote you. No, for sure. Hell yeah. Yep. Yeah, PZ. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> no, no. All reason. Only reason. My first friend in Team Me side. Out of everybody in the group. PZ for sure. And the only reason I'm asking that, like, why not? Uh. Get down with that that team since y'all y'all got a no, history. I am down, shit. It's just you no know, shit. I ain't signed to I ain't signed to Empire. That's just what it is. I ain't signed to Empire. That's that's the only difference. You feel me? But other than that, shit. I just you know. I'm always be boys. You feel me? That's why I'm Uncle Elroy, bro. <laughs> hey man, talk about hey, you know what I'm saying? Cause I started yeah. this barbecue, you know what I mean? That's why I'm Uncle Elroy, bro. You said you started it. <laughs> I started this barbecue shit, man. <laughs> I ain't saying it like I started it by myself, but I'm original. You feel me? Nigga can never never forget that, bro. I'm not saying nobody has, but just saying the world gonna know. Yeah, nigga, I'm original. Man, um <clears throat> just taking a step back real quick with the uh um, bringing the act back too, when mm -hmm. you discuss the business to to do a project, you say like a one off, um, yeah. you know, album. I don't know if you view it as an album or a mixtape, EP, whatever. It's like twelve like songs, EP. so like you know, it's like an EP. That's still over. That's more, you know, that means right. some EP people like album. eight, eight yeah. songs, though, right? That's like an album for right. real. So it's like LP then, right? Do they does does like Lando? Did they go off minutes too, bro? Oh, so I think if it's like under 60 minutes, it don't matter how many songs it is, it's still an EP. Uh, does he have a hand in like like the creative process? Or is it more so you just turn the songs in and y'all put the stamp on myself. it? I, you know, you, you give, we give one fucker, they just do their thing. They get, here go the studio. <laughs> He already a fan of the music anyway, so he ain't really going to say he don't like some. He he will if he don't like it, but he, you know what I'm saying, he a fan of music. So he ain't in there telling a nigga, oh, do something. Like, he'll tell, he'll probably tell a nigga, like, do a song with my artist or something like that. But he ain't in there, like, trying to orchestrate no shit. Hell no. Nah. Okay. No, nah, he ain't like that. Okay. No, I was just curious, man. <clears throat> I ain't know to, to what extent the involvement right. was, but. He do his part, his job. As being the, you know what I'm saying, the exec. And he, well, that's how it was with me and his project. He, you feel me? He just wanted to hear me do songs with a couple of his artists, and that was that was it. Did you already have a relationship with like some of the shit, the shitty boys before that? Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, Shady, you understand? Well, all of them, we was already, we already linked up for real. You feel me? We already had, had kicked it a couple of times. Not saying like we were the best of friends, but I had already met him. And then you gotta understand, I'm Team Me side too, bro. So they they've been listening to me for years, for real, bro. You feel me? So them fucking with me is like, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate the young niggas for fucking with me. You feel me? Nah, <clears throat> and uh, I'm curious to know, man. Did you have to go back in? And redo any verses after you heard like a feature on that on that project. You got a handful of features on there. Hell no. Fuck no. Why would I do that? <laughs> oh, you know, hell no, 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 bro. Nope. Why would I do that? You think somebody spanked me on that bitch? I'm yeah, I'm asking you. <laughs> no, I'm thinking we, like you got we like did all that shit yeah. together. All the features I did was writing. We did this shit in the same room at the same time. One nothing passed off or nothing. So everything organic is, and, you, and was genuine. You know, and everybody punched really. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when 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 when, 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 when niggas that I'm doing songs with, they punching, I write my I write little shit down so I won't forget it while I'm waiting on them to get done. You feel me? Because I don't want to seem like I'm moving slow or we slowing the studio session down, you know what I'm saying? So 
And then when I get in the booth, I just spit what I got and punch the rest. You feel me? But I, I don't never get out the booth and feel like, oh, I need to fix shit. I ain't gonna lie. Unless it's like, oh, this song needs some ad libs or, or I said that word wrong. You know what I'm saying? If, if the bitch ain't sweet, you ain't gonna hear it. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> if it ain't sweet, I, if I ain't satisfied with it, I ain't gonna put it out. So what's up with the the cover art for this one? That's one thing I've noticed with your projects. Mm -hmm. You got a certain type of style yeah. with each cover. You know <clears throat> they vary, <clears throat> but like the two recent ones, you got the one look like the bottle, then the other one is the sprite. You know, um, right. but what, just talk about the influence and inspiration behind that coming up with those two covers. It's a, it's, it's catchy. It's unique. Um, my original cover for the second one was kind of similar to the first one. And, and bro was like, no, I got somebody to do a better one. And then he sent me that bitch. And he told me that this shit was going to be moving in the pop, though. I thought that shit was going to be moving in the pop. But I'm like, oh, it's kind of sweet, though. But, um, yeah, shit. Yeah, I don't know the inspiration. I don't know. I liked it that I liked it the second cover because of the way the um drink was sitting in the bottle. You know what I'm saying? That's how the act sit in the bottle. And honestly, I don't even remember the first cover, bro. Oh you gotta shit. Rem you gotta remember yeah, Miami, it's, bro. It's like a pro pro meth it's like the pro methazine bottle. It's real like they uh <clears throat> some I guess like the palm trees behind it oh, too. Yeah. yeah. That's that was some real shit. Them um all them, that was, that was some merch I was putting together. And um, I'm just like, damn. Let me put an album cover together with the merch. So then was all like trial and error pictures. You feel me? And I just brought them to life for the album cover. Do you that's, you design these just? Oh, you ugly. And honestly, that's how my second cover was too. You feel me? But bro wanted to go with a different cover, so he went with a different one. But yeah, I design this shit. I don't I don't draw and do all this shit myself. But I tell the people what I want. Yeah, I design this shit myself. Even down to like the colors and all of that. <clears throat> yeah. So you hands on for sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm hands on as can be, bro. I ain't got no manners or none of that shit. I'm not even saying it like it's sweet, cause it ain't, but I'm as hands on as a nigga gonna get with this shit. You feel me? Independent as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. Man, you said it you said it's not sweet. Um like, what's the reason behind you not having somebody in your corner to kind of guide things? Are you difficult to deal with as an artist? <laughs> like, what's no, the reason? I don't think I just never put it out there like I needed a manager, bro. That's what it is, probably. People that asked me to be my manager a few times, I just never, like, you know, I don't know, bro. I never felt like, oh, yeah, this motherfucker could be my manager. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, bro. I'm not hard to deal with though as an artist. I don't feel like that. I am. I'm cool as hell. I just feel like, man, I don't know, bro. I can't explain it. I can't explain it. I just ain't had no manager my whole career. And what you gonna drop? Like over 10 projects? <clears throat> yeah. Or around that or something? Yeah. Man, I dropped for sure. I probably got like 12 solo projects. Or like 10 and two joint albums. I know I got the album with Nice. I got the album with Prince. And I for sure got like 10 solo albums. Yeah. Not counting the team. Issa, I still. That's four albums. So I got like damn near 20 albums of music. And I ain't done yet. 